today because uh, I have such a limited range of tools available. Instead of jumping straight in and trying to angle grind the, the length of the sword blade itself or the sword shaped object, uh, I decided it was probably wise to start with a piece of scrap metal instead of jumping straight in like I did with the plasma cutting the other day. Uh, so I actually set up my angle grinder clamped in the vise, which is somewhat death-like as you can probably tell from the set up there. And I thought the best thing to do would be to grab a piece of scrap and try to make this. Now this doesn't really look like very much but it actually was a proof of concept exercise to try and work out the best way to angle grind in a fuller and try and get it kind of neat and tidy so that when I actually attempt the sword blade it'll kind of work something along the lines of this because an angle grinder is not the most precise tool in the world. Uh, but now it's actually finally done. There's uh, a point on it. And essentially the blade balance and really, really nicely. So it's just towards the handle, even though the handle doesn't really have any weight on it at the moment, it's just a blank. Uh, so I guess the next job is to uh, cut a pommel, two slabs, I'm going to cut up the 10 mil stock that I'm going to use to make that. Then I'll probably use a little bit of thinner stuff, probably more towards 6 mil, build out both sides of this. And then I've got a cross piece. I'll probably go with something similar to the 10 mil stuff for that. decided to do a little bit of experimentation on the actual design of the sword itself and uh, the weight and the balance of the sword. At the moment, the sword balance is somewhere around there. Sort of two hand widths from the cross guard, uh, slightly towards the middle of the sword. And essentially I need to work out how much material I'm going to be adding to the pommel and the upper guard area. So how much that weight is then going to shift towards the back end of the sword. At the moment, the sword moves fairly accurately for a, for a Viking sword. Viking swords were meant to be used uh, in conjunction with a, with a hand shield. So they were designed to be able to turn around a point somewhere in the, the, the first third of the blade. So that if uh, an un noticed attack came in and you needed to use your blade to ward off that attack you could move very quickly in a side to side motion uh, to defend yourself 
So the, the, the point of rotation on the sword blade itself works fairly nicely for the type of sword that it is. But I've basically uh, drawn out around the pommel on this piece of uh, eight mil stock. It's the same stock material that I've made the cross guard out of. I don't know if you can see this roughly, but that's approximately the, the pommel dimensions that I've kind of planned, leaving myself a little bit of space to weld in and around it. And so this piece itself actually represents roughly the amount of material minus these little kind of sections where I'll be cutting off that little bit of excess. But this roughly represents the amount of weight that I'll be adding to the pommel end of the sword. If I take the sword and uh, place this on the pommel section, you can see now that that moves the balance point about a hand's width closer to the cross guard. And the other concern that I've had is that for a Viking style sword, the hand grips on a Viking style sword, because they were strictly single handed, fitted very tightly against the user's hand. Uh, whereas on this, there's currently a good three quarters of an inch or thereabouts distance, which would allow the sword to slip around uh, when in use, theoretically, even though I've got a really good pillage in there on the menu. Um, so I was considering chopping this and moving the whole pommel upper guard section towards, towards the cross guard. And I was concerned about how much that might actually change the balance point of the sword when uh, when I've removed that material and moved the, the weight closer to the fulcrum. So I, I drew a couple of marks to mark out hypothetically how far I intended to move it from the position where the, the bottom of the upper guard will be and then half inch further along the actual sword itself. And ultimately, what I've discovered, quite surprisingly to myself, is that if the balance point is about a hand's width from the cross guard now, if I move this half an inch further forward, so that it fits very nicely against my hand itself, the balance point only shifts five millimeters or so towards the point end of the blade for that maybe twice that distance movement of this amount of weight on the pommel itself. So whereas I was worried initially that if I shorten the handle, it could significantly change the way that the sword moves, uh, this has kind of, kind of put that to bed for me. Well, it's been about three weeks and about 50 hours spread over the three weeks, but I've actually finally finished the sword. Uh, it was a hell of a challenge because I've only got limited tools here. That was the point of the exercises, was a proof of concept. 
mean, technically speaking, I don't consider this a sword because I, I made it out of mild steel because that's all I had here. And I didn't really want to ruin uh, good steel by trying to see if I could actually make this with just a couple of cheap welders and an angle grinder. Uh, the most challenging part of the whole experience was definitely doing the fuller, which trying to grind that with just a four inch angle grinder uh, freehand and trying to grind the entire blade profile freehand with an angle grinder was, I thought it was going to be impossible, but it's turned out okay. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I finally got the handle finished. As you can see, just a simple leather wrap fixed with, I don't know if you can make out the pins either end there and some glue. Uh, but it's finally done. Um, my next sort of project is going to be setting up the forge that I've ordered uh, so I can actually learn bladesmithing. Uh, but I, I figured that the first thing that I ever wanted to grind that was going to be kind of vaguely sword shaped was uh, hopefully not going to be something that I'd spent a hell of a lot of time uh, forging into shape. It was much easier for me to do this just by uh, stock removal process. And so at last it is done. I'm happy with it.